there's a few th things that I want to say in terms of uh, thanks for folks uh, in part of this. So first of all, thank you so much to our keynotes. Uh, definitely, we got treated extremely well. Uh, there were some, you know, challenging uh, options, et cetera, to, to deal with. And, you know, from the start, uh, in terms of the panel and the Candy Learn folks and Karen were part of that. Uh, that, was, that was great. Uh, good start for everything to kind of set a tone. Julia, of course, uh, rocked us with privacy and privacy issues. And I, you know, that was in the middle of the meltdown for me. And I've thought between that and everything, I'm going like, why are we doing this? Let's just quit. Let's just forget it, you know? Uh, and I wanted to run away and hide. So Monday was was great in terms of having the Camelot folks with us, but uh, with Julia had some very good cautious uh, stuff she's been tweeting. I saw, I finally got to Twitter and take a look at some of that stuff. So thank you for everyone who's tweeting. Uh, for that. And then on Tuesday, I was really impressed with Trevor. Uh, Trevor jumped in. He'd never done what he did in terms of a style as a webinar before uh, with the recording and everything else. And it was the first time we tried Zoom live with it to do that. And I thought it worked out extremely well. He was extremely interactive. It was a great, great uh, session for us uh, as well. And then Dotto took us in a little bit different way. Um, it's interesting because I really thought it was important from my perspective to, to kind of get Steve involved in as part of that, uh, because there was a certain amount of history that does come with Steve uh, as well. Uh, and sorry, I just got to play around with my, I do want to get this in because I did take the time to get it set up. Um, so let me just drag this over and uh, this is behind the wheel. So what we had is you remember uh, with the piece, so that's, that's Steve Dotto and that's David Porter on the link. I posted that in Steve's session as well. So I think that that was a really interesting one to go back. Uh, and then I asked uh, David about it and he mentioned it afterwards. They actually were in a Nash Metropolitan. They were actually driving down the freeway uh, and they actually got in trouble, no kidding. Uh, and then they did the rest of the mock-up in between afterwards. But what's interesting as well is when I went back to uh, themes and stuff, and this is 2015, when we were at last, well, we were at the Delta Burnaby last year, but we were, that was the time before that we were there, when BCDL admin uh, was doing the hosting for that. I, I like the theme, and that was, of course, I think Karen, that came from uh, Karen Flow, Connect, Engage, Grow, Foster Community Online. Um, but what was interesting is we had the closing panel, right? So, and I went back, it's just a bit of a nostalgia trip. You can find the schedules uh, if you search for them online. They're still published uh, online. So this is the 2015 DL conference as it was. So we had Kathy Kavanaugh from Microsoft who was doing the moderating. And of course, Rod Allen with the famous DL is dead, but uh, it was great. I forgot about Mark, uh, Mark Daly from Heritage Christian being there. I remember some of those. Dada was on the panel. And then Karen as well, but also Corey from Cool, and then Terry Reed, who was part of the founding members, like Michael Barber is, for Candy Learn, uh, she was there as well. So I remember that was quite an interesting uh, time that we had with with the whole setup. But the keynotes were great. David came back, and what I began to realize that, and then Alec as well this morning was was absolutely terrific. Rod and and Eleanor is part of that, and Verena of course. It's a network. And that's really, um, you know, if you're, whether you're doing it on Twitter or, or elsewhere, it's a network. And it was so easy when we started to expand this and we wanted to go four days. So easy for all those of us on the planning committee just to tap into that our network and just have an ask. And these people came. It was it was terrific. So I just want to give a big shout out to them all. And of course, obviously, to Michael, who's uh, always been a stalwart and been really a part of Candy Learn and its foundation and everything else and an honorary um, lifetime member because the rules that we set up at the beginning said if you're not, you know, working in a Canadian institution or part of that in education, you can't be a member. So we're going like, oh, damn, <laughs> we keep Michael involved in this besides all this volunteer time that he gives. Uh, he and I probably talk daily. Um, in the in that and so we said well that's honorary life member and it's the best thing that we could do so so he's a member for life and we're so happy michael that you're part of this i want to say a big shout out to 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 aaron and to jeremy for all the work that they did on monday and tuesday when it was chaotic and crisis mode and everything else they just pitched in and again as i said earlier it's it's the team 
plus the platform, but you got to put the people first. If you got the people, then you know you've got success. And this was this is a successful team and a successful group. Again, I've, I shout out to BCDL admin who said when we were in crisis, hey, we used to do this. Let's throw some. We'll throw some help towards this, and have been here in 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 spades. Our two guys. This is David before when he didn't really have much of a beard, which is kind of interesting to see. Uh, and Thomas uh, for EDL Blended BCs to picking up the mantle uh, have continued with this, done a, a great job. And uh, obviously, as Thomas has said, looking forward to a repeat in October. Zoom. Trust me, Bruce Dill, he was so patient with my first panic call. I'm trying to watch this. You got to change the impressions. It's like, he was like, and then I realized after I thought about it, I'm one of those idiots that panics and calls for help immediately. And I'm not really clear about exactly what I need, nor was I really necessarily thinking it through. I was just panicked. And Bruce was awesome. And so he kind of talked me down, talked me through. And then we figured out, oh, I need to make people. And then we, the play, with the group, Thomas and everybody else came in, off we went. Richard has always been there. Study Forge has been great. First time in a demo slam. We're looking forward to it. Proteus, uh, Matthew and, and Meryl, uh, for new people that have come in, they want to be in the partnership with us. I think that's terrific. I think that they've got some stuff that's really cool that, to do that, but it really works better in the physical environment. But they still pitched in and came here. They said, we can do it online, but it's way better when people have their hands on equipment. Microsoft uh, has been great. Aria uh, as well, and, and Michelle knows uh, Aria and has worked with the team, Renee. Uh, was there doing teams. I tried to set up teams and I just, it was outside of my capabilities to do it. Um, so I'm really happy that they were there. And, they, and as before, they've been with us. So Kathy Cavanaugh back in 2015 as well. So Microsoft's been very strong. I really like Microsoft 365. They're moving towards exactly what uh, Google was doing uh, in terms of, and also supporting education. So I think it's a, a big shout out to Microsoft. And with those that school districts that are Microsoft in there, they ask their tools work. You also, though, you have privacy dealt with. So that's such a big relief if you know that you don't have to deal with privacy. So thank you. And of course, Bruce and Brent. Yes, that is Brent in the bottom right hand corner. That's really what he looks like uh, at home. When he puts the camera on, he's got a pseudonym. I think he was doing what Alec was teaching about having a fake video with a face on. Um, Always been a strong supporter, uh, and I got the year right. I don't know whether anyone else noticed, but it used to say 2019 Digital Learning Symposium. You know where I copied that slide from. So uh, thanks very much for your, your continuing support. Open School and the Ministry, uh, definitely always there. Not as present uh, here, but uh, we're looking forward to a bigger presence uh, when we're physical again. And the shout out to Michelle. Um, so Michelle, thank you, and looking forward to handing it over to you at one o'clock for the demo slam and for to the uh, to the prize draw. And so Mindshare Learning uh, partner Robert Martellacci is also active in sort of the networking nationally. So he's been a media partner. So we thank him for that. Dirk, thank you for Moodle hosting it. Thank you for helping out with all the email filter issues uh, in the background. So Dirk is the kind of guy that is there. He's part of WCLN as well. And uh, it's really great. And I know you're active as well in supporting Blended Alberta and the activities that are going there as well. So terrific. And then D2L, yes, the guy who screwed up their first link um, is, was Hark and Valerie did, uh, jumped in, did a great job. D2L, again, is they're active working on supporting their accounts and their account users uh, so that they couldn't have as big a presence in this week. And again, as I mentioned, Aaron was able to bring a full presence as well as supporting their clients. I don't know how it worked, but hey, everybody came together. And Bayfield as well, uh, for uh, with Jessica and with Sarah who came in. Uh, Bayfield is spun out of, uh, of uh, Virtual High School in Ontario. And Steve Baker, uh, who's a great sponsor and supporter for Candy Learn with the research particularly, State of the Nations uh, that Michael uh, Barber does. Uh, and I tag along. Um, so it's great, really good people, a lot of good support. So I'm gonna post this here and now.